Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 13th Excel tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about some advanced functions that you can use within Excel to help you manipulate uh, text and other information. So what I've done here is I've created just a couple of lines of addresses here and this would be something that you might see, you know, you've received uh, you know, a large file, you've imported it into Excel and it might be kind of a mess and you might need to extract data from it or clean it up or whatnot. So in this case here you notice there's asterisk symbols that we may not want, there's extra spaces um, and you may not want everything in the same cell. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean up all these spaces and how we do that is use the trim function. So you're going to do equals trim, hit the tab key and the text that you want to trim is cell A1 in this case, hit return and you notice what it did, it removed any excess spaces so you can do that with any any cells that you want to do that with. In this case, I'm going to copy that function, paste it in the next line down. And you notice it did the same thing for Nancy Jones address where we have between the city and state a big um, a big gap there. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to um, clean up and get rid of those asterisk symbols. So how we do that? Probably the easiest way to do that is use the replace function. Okay, if we just had two lines here, we probably wouldn't go through do this. But if you have hundreds and or thousands of lines, you probably would. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace um, text here from. We're going to click for old text. We're going to click the cell. We're going to do comma, the starting number. <coughs> excuse me. That's the position of the data that you want to replace. So the starting position is position number one, comma, and how many characters is it, number of characters? It's four asterisk symbols, so we're going to put four there. And then what do we want to do? We want to replace it in this case with just empty text. So how you do that is you do quotation, quotation with no space, close the parentheses, and there you see what happens is it cleans off, um, cleans out those asterisk symbols. Again, we can copy it and it will eliminate the asterisk symbols for um, Nancy Jones address also. So another thing we might want to do is we might want to extract the zip code. So I'm going to go here the zip code is on the far right of the address so we're going to use a function called write. What I wanted to mention here is there's a function for left, there's a function for middle or mid uh, so you can play with these and experiment with them and use them, you know, as as um, necessary. But this is a pretty neat function to be able to uh, help you extract some data and extract it quickly from large uh, large number of cells. So what do we want to do here? We want to go in and we want to um, extract out the zip code. So how we do that is we go into write. We we click the write function. And for the text, we're going to choose this text, A7, comma, and the number of characters that we want. And keep in mind, now we're going from right to left. So in this case, the zip code is five characters long. We close the parentheses, and there you have the zip code. Now we can copy that, put it down here, and you notice it extracted this zip code also. Likewise, we can use the left function, and we can do something pretty interesting here, is we can extract the first name. In this case we can't really use the number of characters because John and Nancy have a different number of characters. So what we do here, we hit tab, we use the same text, but how we do that is I hit comma and instead of looking for the number of characters now I can run a function within this um, left function and I'm going to run the find and what do I want to do? I want to find a specific text. In this case, I want to find a space. So how we look for a space is we do quotation, space, quotation, comma, within what text? Within A7 again. And then what we do is close that and we do a negative one here and it takes one off from that space and there you see it extracted the extracted John. I copy that, paste it there, and there it extracted Nancy. So what this does 
is if I were to say minus two, you see what will happen. It cut off the, it cut off an extra character. So in this case, a good way to extract out the first word after, uh, by identifying where the space is at. And the final thing I want to show you on this lesson is how to determine the length of a um, of a cell, the number of characters. So what we do is equal length, which is len, hit tab, and then we can just click on the text that we want to check, and there you see 59 characters. It's important to note this includes any spaces. Okay, so if I go in here and I manually remove several spaces, automatically updates. Okay, that's really what I wanted to show you today. And I am going to also do a part two of this and show you some more advanced functions, some count if functions, some frequency uh, functions, and some different summing options. So thanks for joining, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.